Evaluate the following expressions for a equals 5, b equals 8, c equals 9, or c equals 6, and d equals 9. So we have two problems. One is a division problem, and one is an addition problem. And they're asking us to evaluate. So remember when we see this word evaluate, there's two things we need to do. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to substitute in the values. And then once we substitute in the values, then we're going to simplify the expression. When we say simplify, that means work the math. Do everything that you can to make it into just a nice, simple answer. So let's go ahead and do our substitute step. So we want to be thinking about each one of these is going to be replaced by a number. So we see this A here. It's going to be replaced by a 5. So let's go ahead and replace the A with a 5. And then we have a B underneath that in the denominator. So the value for B is 8. So we'll go ahead and put that 8 in there. Now remember, this is a division problem. Then notice that B shows up again. Well, that's OK. We know that B equals 8. So 8 is going to be the numerator of that other fraction as well, because it shows up twice in two different places. And then we have the D variable, which we're going to replace with 9. So now I've got this problem 5 eighths divided by 8 ninths. We need to remember how we do division with fractions. So remember, the first one stays the same. So 5 eighths. And remember, instead of dividing, we change division to multiplying. And we take the reciprocal of our other fraction, the divisor, which would give us 9 over 8 if we flip that over. Then if we look to multiply and looking to simplify before we multiply, looking for any common factors we might see, I'm not seeing any common factors there. So we're just going to multiply straight across. Numerator times numerator gives us 45. Denominator times denominator gives us 64. So that's going to be our final answer. Now in this next problem, when we do our substitution, we're going to have b. We saw that the value for b was 8. So we're using those same values for part 2 here. So 8 over d, our value is 9. So let's go ahead and keep that 9 there. And now remember, we're adding. The value of a is 5. And c, we haven't had to use c yet. c, the value of c is 6. So now we're doing addition. We've got to do something different for this problem. Remember when we're doing adding or subtracting, we have to have a common denominator. So when I look at our two denominators here, the 9 and the 6, the LCD, the smallest number, both of those are going to go into evenly, is 18. So let's build both of those to an 18 denominator. Okay, So both of these are going to have become an 18 denominator. For 8 9, so I'm going to do the multiplication over here on the left because I have a little bit more room there. 9 times what is 18? Well, 9 times 2. If I do that in the denominator, I need to do it in the numerator as well. And 2 times 8 is 16. And then for the other one, 5 6, when we build that 6 to an 18 denominator, we say, well, 6 times 3 gives me 18. So the numerator has to be multiplied by 3 as well to give me 15. Now the denominators are the same, and so I'm going to know that my answer is going to have an 18 denominator, unless it simplifies, of course. But now let's do the addition to our numerators. 16 plus 15 is 31. And always check, will this simplify? Do 31 and 18 have any factors in common? The answer is no, they don't. So this will be our final answer.